decided I needed to install a rudder reference transducer on my Hunter Vision 36 and so that's what I'll be showing in this video today. I ordered the rudder reference transducer as a Christmas gift for my boat and it comes with all the parts necessary uh, to install it and get it connected to your existing Raymarine autopilot system. The purpose of a rudder reference transducer is to tell your autopilot which way the rudder is pointing. As you can see this is spring loaded, has a long cable so it can connect to the proper electronic device uh, in your autopilot system. It comes with all the screws and connectors and a long threaded connecting rod to connect the rudder reference transducer to the point of contact on your rudder. It also comes with a good set of instructions. Unfortunately, the instruction diagrams don't look much like what I have on my boat. So, as is often the case when installing equipment on your sailboat, some improvisation is required. I started the job by removing the steering wheel. Next, I removed the deck panel that covers the steering cables and the steering quadrant which sits on top of the rudder post. I turned the steering quadrant to both extremes and marked those extremes as well as the center and to use them as a reference point later on. I next marked the holes for the transducer bracket making sure that it was positioned correctly to function properly. Then drilled the holes and screwed down the transducer to the deck in the position I, that you can see in the video. In my case the connecting rod had to be shortened some and the instructions give you tips on how best to do that. You really need to measure the connecting rod carefully so that the transducer does its job and functions correctly. The other end has to connect to the steering quadrant. In the kit is a little knob that serves as the connector. In my case, in screwing this to the steering quadrant, I had to be careful to shorten the screws just a little bit so they didn't interfere with the steering cables that connected to the steering quadrant. After I connected both ends of the connecting rod, I tested to make sure there was no interference by just turning the steering wheel on the boat. The final step of the hardware installation is to attach the transducer wires to the actuator control unit in the appropriate place. Finally, I put the deck back down and the steering wheel back on and went through the configuration of the autopilot so that the rudder reference transducer is recognized by the system. Hope this helps. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Jim Sales.